What's going on, people? Man, I tell you, like, this right here, right? This, it's an NMD, right? And to me, the NMD is almost like, I was going to compare it to, like, the Air Max 90, but I at least find those to be comfortable. But the thing is, where I was going to go with that, is that I don't really like the shoe itself. I'm not really, like, a person that would consider themselves a fan of it. But they make a lot of colors that are worth having, right? And so that's pretty much where all my purchases come from when it comes to NMDs. If you've seen any of my other NMD videos, you know that that's kind of what always drives the purchase. Except for those trail ones, because that was just the fact that I like buying trail colored shoes. I mean, not trail colored, but trail shoes, right? I mean, trail colors are fine too, you know, if you're talking like the earth tones and whatnot. I'm cool with that as well. So yeah, either way you want to look at it. Trail shoes or trail colored shoes, I'm all in for the most part. Now anyways, this right here, right? I saw these on Ethan Page's YouTube channel, right? Ethan Page, all ego Ethan Page of AEW fame, formerly of TNA fame, right? Or Impact, I should say. Yeah, so he did a little shoe shopping thing with Scorpio Sky, and I saw these, and I believe this is the pair he actually bought too. I was like, hey, those remind me of those Aniki runners that I bought many moons ago. So I liked those. Maybe I should get those too. Why not, right? Let's see what the prices are like. I tell you, the prices were pretty good. Normally, what's an NMD like? 120 something like that? They were marked down to about 108 on the Adidas site. And so I tried to make an order because they said they had one left. And then apparently they were lying because they sent me an email later saying, no, oh, we actually don't have anything for you, dude. I was like, sure, whatever. So I ended up buying these through WSS, right? A store that I had never heard of, but I found it when looking to see if they were in stock anywhere else. And I read some reviews on what some people were saying, you know, and there was some good, there was some bad, but it was enough that I was like, you know what? This is all in the middle when it's all said and done. So I'm just going to take my chances and see what happens, right? So I gave them $80 or so, something like that. And here we are. And I looked over these when I did the Instagram Live unboxing and they came off pretty nice. They look like they're new and all that, unscathed and whatever. So WSS so far gets a thumbs up from me. So to that person who had a problem with them, I'm glad I kind of ignored what they had to say. You know, sometimes it's good to ignore people. I think we all know that though, don't we? Anyways, that being said, let's go get on into this review over this right here. This, as I said in the beginning, it is an Adidas NMD R1 in the Newport colorway. Full disclosure, I don't think that's what they actually call these, but it's a thing that I saw said about those Aniki runners many moons ago, and it kind of stuck because it just makes sense, right? Otherwise, I guess you could just call it green and white, but where's the fun in that, huh? Anyways, on the bottom, what you're looking at down there is a nice little gum bottom outsole. Unlike that other shoe that I just reviewed that acted like it was going to be a gum bottom outsole. This one actually is. And then behind that, you can see a little bit of that boost peeking through because that's how these shoes work. Up here on the midside here, on the midsole that is, you have that standard boost thing going on where it's just kind of whited out, right? You got those blocks on the outer side, the block on the inner side. They have a function that I can never remember what it is, but hey, just know that they aren't there just for show. And you can look into it if you care to see it. That's what I do usually, but then I always forget, so I just stopped looking it up. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this here upper, because that's a thing that actually kind of matters just a little bit. So the way this upper is, right? It's going to be a very nice feel and all that good stuff, which is what you want. Not quite on that prominent level, but it's decent for the meshy style that it is. And as you can kind of see, it's pretty much just all green and white, right? So let's just get in here real quick and knock this review out. Down here, right, as I was saying, this big grass colored green that they have going on, it feels pretty nice, so I do like that. But that's enough about that, we're gonna move on. You got this little strip here down in the mid section. sometimes that's 3M, it might be in this case, I'll figure it out when I figure it out. Then you got these three stripes to signify that this is an Adidas shoe, and those are in white, matching up with what you see on the rest of the shoe that isn't green. So, moving back just a little bit further past that onto the back of the shoe, you do have this Adidas logo with that big Adidas thing above it, right? Whatever that thing is, it looks like a plant or something, I don't know. But you got that on this thick plasticky feeling piece, right? So, all a lot of standard stuff that you've seen before on things. 
Speaking of standard stuff you've seen before on things, these laces over here, right? Just your plain green, but I will say, I really like the laces that they use on these. I mean, they're simple, they're plain, right? But they just feel really soft and I like them. So, you know, I'm, I'm a plain kind of guy. And then those are held down by these flimsy looking pieces of plastic, whatever this is on the side. And then back to the shoe here, on the top, you do have this Adidas logo again, matching up with what you saw on the back end. So there, it's just a green strip with some white pieces, white font, whatever. And then that kind of sums up the outside of the shoe, I believe. Actually, one thing I didn't quite cover, on the very back here, you have the pull tab that has some stuff written in. On this one, it's looking like German or Dutch or whatever that case is. And then on the other one, it's probably like French and Japanese or something like that. Cause you know, they like to show off that multi-language thing or whatever they're doing. Sometimes they have that on the inside or whatever, you know, where it says like a brand with the three stripes. I think that might be an ultra boost thing or something. Either way, speaking of the inside down here, what you're going to see is one of the reasons I don't really like these shoes a whole lot. See how there's no insole in there. Yeah. That's the thing that I don't really like about these. Instead, you can see straight down to the boost, and then it actually says boost in case you're wondering what you're looking at. You don't have to, you just have to be able to read. Hopefully you can do that. If you can't, hey, I get it. You know, we've all been there. It's not in a long time. Anyways, past that, that's really the shoe, right? So I would say that we can cover more stuff, but I think we've covered, we've covered everything, and now there's no more stuff to talk about, minus my personal opinions on this particular shoe. So I'm gonna give you those real quick. Now, as I was saying before, what initially caught my attention was that these remind me a lot of the Nike Runners that I purchased whenever Nike Runners came out, because I think I bought them like practically day one, right? And so I saw these, and they were the right price. I figured, hey, let's go ahead and jump on them. And now that I have them in hand and I'm looking over them, I like the way they look up close. They delivered on being what I expected them to be, so that's cool. WSS came through for me without any like any weird stuff or sending me like used shoes like Whoever that person was that complained about them and then looking at the materials and stuff the material is Better than some other NMDs because I know some of them have different color kinds of uppers and whatnot So all in all this purchase has worked out pretty well. So I'm I'm very cool with that and I don't think there's anything else left to say about how I feel about this shoe because I think that pretty much just sums up that I like it, right? So let's go ahead and talk about some sizing, comfort, all that good stuff because people like to know that. Or maybe they just like to see what the shoes look like when I'm standing around in this apartment. I bought these in a nine and a half, right? It's the shoe size that I buy in all of my shoes pretty much. Now, I know that these NMDs and stuff, as much of a true size fit as I like to say that it is, it does feel a little loose. But the thing is, I tried doing the nine once and it didn't feel very good. So now I just suck it up and I go with the nine, excuse me, the nine and a half, throw on some thicker socks and that kind of helps deal with like the extra space. One of the things you could also do is put an insole in there since for whatever reason, Adidas chooses to make these without insoles. So that's another option. But either way, just know that I would say stick with your true to size size on these. So whatever other Adidas shoes you have, if it's like standard casual type shoe, running shoe, whatever, probably just go with that. Same with me if you happen to have just Air Max or stuff, go with that and you'll probably be okay. Now, past that, as far as the comfort goes, where does the comfort rank on these? For a boost shoe, not good. Personal opinion, I don't think these are all that great. Now, you might be thinking, well, why'd you buy them? I covered that already. But here's the thing. They're not going to be like completely terrible. It's just that there are so many other things that are better than them. And I'm just talking at that price point, right? So at that 130, I think, 120, either way, go get yourself a nice pair of Prestos, maybe an Air Max One, you know, something like that. React Visions, I think they hover around that price point too. There are other things, right? These are just more readily available and in a wider variety of colors. So I think that's kind of what really made them sell so well, you know? That and like that initial boost hype thing that was going on. But hey, it is what it is. <clears throat> you can't like everything. Or oh, you can pretend you can, but you probably don't. 
So past that though, overall, the shoe, just to wrap things up because I got off on a tangent there, go true to size and you should be all right. If you're looking for comfort, maybe look somewhere else, but it's not terrible. So just go with that. And I think we're good, right? Eh, who cares? Yeah, I'm just gonna say we are. So I got one more review to knock out and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna, then I'm gonna move on with the rest of my day and then do some sort of sneaker battle live thing tonight. So for now, from me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Like I said, I got some stuff to do. So I'm gonna go do that stuff. Later, people.